Hello, 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 hello. Nobody's there, but that's okay. Because <laughs> I'm a little early. I'll just wait. Hello, somebody. Hello, a couple somebodies, a few somebodies. <laughs> hey, Mars, how are you? Hi, Brandy. I am doing this without much. Um, well, I had about an hour beforehand to play with some stuff. My mom is a mess, Kathleen. I mean, she was on complete bed rest this week. Um, hi, Anita Falcone. I think that's your first time here, isn't it? Well, welcome if it is. You're sleepy. Oh, no. I don't want to put you to sleep, Marlene. <laughs> but if you fall asleep, it's okay. Hi, Paige. And Kathleen or Kiki. Well, welcome, Anita. So I've been doing taxes for two days straight. Ugh. And um, mine are now submitted. I don't know if they're perfect, but they're in and they're the best I could do. <laughs> so we'll see if that was good enough. And tomorrow afternoon, I have to do my mother's or start it anyway. And she hasn't done a tax return in about 10 years, but I have to do one this year because we sold her house last year. So anyway, oh, how's everybody else doing? That's my saga, but I'm just relieved that my taxes are submitted. <laughs> you owe money? Ugh, Brandy. That was me last year. No, wait. Uh, yeah, last year I owed a little bit, but the year before I was like, eeks. This year I'm getting a refund, so that is good on the federal. And then on the state, in this state, they're really cracking down on sales tax that you... Don't, you know, that the vendors online don't charge you if they're out of state. <laughs> and this year is the first year I actually got letters from a couple crafty vendors, which weren't, luckily weren't in either of my businesses. But anyway, I ended up having to pay sales tax, use tax on a couple of them. And other than that, I wouldn't have had to pay anything for state. So anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking with it. You got yours back already? Awesome. I am I could not get myself going on them this year, but I've been dealing with so much other stuff. No wonder. But I just told everybody I'm not going anywhere the last three days. And I was going to start them Saturday. And somehow I didn't get started Saturday. But I did sit down. I think I started doing spreadsheets and stuff I was behind on on Saturday. And then Sunday I had to finish all that stuff that I hadn't prepared. And and um, today I put it all into TurboTax and kicked it out. So, and did the local, state and local, the state and TurboTax too. But I didn't, you can't submit without paying out the wazoo. So, I just mailed it and um, local, I'm mailing, well, they're mailing tomorrow. I'm just relieved. So, I'm celebrating by crafting. <laughs> Anyway, before I get into making cards, it's April, and it's not April Fool's Day, so yay. <laughs> and we have a new host code, so make a note if you want to place an order anytime in April, and it's under $150, please use this host code, C7, N as in Nancy, B as in boy, J as in Jack, D as in David, 7, Z as in zebra. C7NBJD7Z. Does that look backwards to you? Because it's looking backwards to me on the screen. Oh, Kathy's taking over tomorrow? Okay. That's good to know. So everybody that read my Facebook, it's kind of wrong. Don't go to Marlene's channel tomorrow at 1230. Go to Kathy's Cards channel. Okay. Thanks, Kat. Why is it reading backwards to me? Huh, that's funny. I saw your picture. I just didn't have a chance to comment, Kathleen. Congratulations on your anniversary. For some reason, I thought you were married longer than that. Oh, I'm sorry, Marlene. I hope everything works out okay. It wasn't from cutting yourself yesterday, was it? Oh, 
I hope not. In fact, you got both. Wait, I'm missing something. Okay. You did too. You got both. Are you taxes, Anita? I'm not sure what we're talking about. Anyway, so there's the host code for April. Just a reminder that Stampin' Storage is now available on the website to everybody, demonstrators and people alike. Oh, okay, Marlene. Well, yeah, get that taken care of for sure. Sorry you're going through so much all the time here. And um, they also have, like, configuration charts on, you know, how you might want to do it. It's like uh, white modular plastic. These are like separate pieces and you get five of them for your stamp pads and markers, the stampin' blends, a little open one you can use for anything that you want. And then there's a tray that sits on top that holds, it says 20 uh, refill bottles. I don't know. It only looks like maybe 16 there to me, but eh, I don't know. And so these hold the, the skinny markers, the ones like the Stampin' Rights like this that are double tipped. These are the dye ink markers. So it hides, holds them right with the dye um, stamp pads. And then honestly, guys, I'm probably not going to get any. And the reason I'm not is because I'm going to turn you over here. I had already bought. Oh, now my lamp's going to be in the way. Hang on. I don't know if you can see them. Here's how I have my Stampin' Blends. I bought these wooden things. Oops, which way? Last year. I can't get them over there. Oh, there. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> and there's all my stamp pads. There's not space for the markers. So, but then I, I hold the markers. And this, this flap is the container they come in. I can't bend it enough. Anyway, sorry about that. hope I'm not making you dizzy. <laughs> So if I buy any, it might be the open ones for the um, refills, but I kind of came up with a system for them that I'll share. I sort of already did share it in my... Thanks, Marlene. It's a mess right now because I just shoved everything. I had an aha moment last week, and this um, thing that holds my ink pads has a, a wide open area that I had on the top because that's how they showed it on their website. But what was happening is the ink pads were right down at my desk. So if I had anything on my desk, I couldn't reach the last three or four ink pads because they were behind stuff that was piled up. So I thought, well, what if I flip it over and put the ink pads up and then I have the storage space in the bottom. But now, now I just shove everything that normally would be on my desk into that bottom space. And it's kind of a mess. So anyway, but it's there and it's working. I can reach my ink pads now. So that's good. And um, I did have my... Memento and Versa mark in that bottom space, but I buried them. Um, and just to let you know, too, one last thing. The celebration is over. It ended March 31st, so the freebies are no longer available. And as far as I know, none of that stuff carried over into April. But I haven't gone through and double-checked every single thing. But normally they say they don't double, um, don't extend those. But the occasions catalog that looked like this, this is these items are available while supplies last until the end of May, until the new annual catalog kicks in. And the annual catalog is still out there too. But I have been noticing things are getting low inventory, both from the annual catalog and also from occasions. So if you want anything, I'd suggest getting it now because I only have a very short list of knowledge so far of what's going to carry over and I won't know any more until mid-April. Um, so if there's something you want out of the annual catalog or the occasions, get it as soon as you can. Okay. And I'm, that's just for you because if you really have your heart set on something. Oh, and the butterfly duet punch is available right now, but it's already going back in low inventory. So yeah, I know somebody got theirs or is getting theirs. <laughs> so if you wanted that, run. Okay, so um, I decided I had I had bought this paper out of the occasions catalog. It's called Classic Garage. It's really manly kind of or, you know, 
it's related to cars and all things. Well, not all things. Cars and motorcycles. <laughs> so it's got like wrenches and just like black tire tread marks on here. Oil and gas cans, some gears and um, crushed curry yellow stuff. Some um, like road signs. Cars, old cars. My neighbor has one that's sort of like that and it's loud actually it's probably more like that um i don't know what kind it is my brother used to have a 57 chevy and he also had another kind i think it was an oldsmobile i don't know steering wheels and just like uh oil spill kind of stuff or garage floor like speedometers oops sorry speedometers or odometers more of those kind of things tire treads and black steering wheels oh that's on the back of that okay so anyway and then there's a keys one and there's a um, like nuts and bolts one kind of thing so i didn't really have much time to play around with this and i didn't buy there's a stamp set and die set that go with this and some trinkets but i didn't get those the only other thing i got that went with it was some um, uh ribbon that looks like this it's black with silver through the middle so i thought we'd use that on something so i had time to can, if i can figure out what i just did with it <laughs> oh gosh isn't this crazy crazy oh my word and I see i was straightening it up before i came on okay i'm not even you love that paper it's in the occasion catalog <laughs> oh yeah, get it taken care of. Hi, Patty. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, Marlene, for the, about the setup. Um, I hope it's working out okay. I have lost the card I was going to do. Oh, here it is right in front of my nose. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Card number one. I was playing around. And I thought, what am I going to do? So this one's going to be an easy card. Pretty easy. This is called Crushed Curry cardstock, which kind of goes with the darker yellow in here. And this is um, basic gray. And I just did a normal card mat and then put this on here. But then I thought, okay, now what am I going to do? So I pulled out birthday. Um, I pulled out. What did I pull out? The well-written framelits dies also in the occasions catalog there's a stamp set that goes with them called well said but i didn't get that i just got the framelit dies because i love die cut words but i was feeling like they just kind of get lost in here hi penny thank you for coming um and uh, marlene the paper's called classic garage if you want to know or if you just want some of it, let me know that too. And I may be able to do a product share with you. Um, okay. So what I thought was I had this little piece of leftover gray. And I thought what I would do is kind of cut some of the paper and put birthday. Cut this out. This is in real red. Put birthday with maybe a, one little bling or something for the dot of the eye and then wishes in here and i wish i had bought they have little trinkets that are like nuts and bolts and there might be some keys in there so um yeah okay i'll um i'll message you let me make a note because i'll forget or message me on facebook so i don't forget and um, I'll get back with you after the after the live, okay, Marlene? Or we can chat tomorrow or something, whatever. So that's what I was thinking of doing is putting birthday here with the little keys and then wishes in here. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I could put a strip of that ribbon in here just across the underneath the wishes or something like that. Think that would be all right? That's cool, Penny. Okay. Um, so let me just start gluing down. And then on the inside, <laughs> I kept cutting this white paper I had and it kept getting smaller and smaller. So it sort of looks like a 
a photo thing, like one of those old Polaroids. And I thought I'd just put another strip of the paper under it like that and put that on the inside. In fact, let's, um, well, we'll do the front first just in case I mess it up. And so I am going to use art glitter glue because I refilled my bottle and I like wet glue better than using, um, unless I'm going to bump something up with dimensionals. I prefer to use wet glue and it doesn't, I probably put too much on. It doesn't really take much. <laughs> so... Okay, that's about as straight as Deb gets things. Yeah, I like the keys too. That was one of my favorite pieces and it's got dice on here too. So if anybody's, you know, goes to like Atlantic City or Vegas or something, there you go. And the back of that paper, it's green, but it's got, can you see it? It's got like engines on it, all kinds of engines and stuff. Pretty cool. My brother used to race cars um in his younger day he used to dirt track um um actually i think it was a his original one was like a an older chevy or something and then he got into the i forget what they were called the smaller ones and we used to go to a place called grandview racetrack about an hour from me here when he was younger but you know what that is an expensive i cannot get this straight expensive hobby <laughs> so when he got a little older and got married and had a child that hobby kind of went by the wayside i like to draw with glue <laughs> i should draw and put glitter on hi susan welcome we're just making some cards with some stampin up products okay so this i'm gonna cut um lay this the keys down on here first and then in fact i'm going to glue it down and then i'm going to cut the edge of that off nascar is here coming this weekend oh yeah see i don't watch it anymore but i did like to go to watch my brother race when he was you know younger except it was really loud it's a wonder i'm not well i am partially deaf in one ear but that's that's not because of the going to the races. <laughs> Hi, Brina. We're making uh, classic garage cards tonight, and I don't really have anything pre-made, so we're just doing it on a, as, as Misty would say, on a whim, crafting on a whim. Because I've been doing taxes for two days, so I just need to get away from that. I like racing, too. I do like races. I like watching horse races, too, but I can't. I rode on a horse once or twi twice, twice in my life, out in um, New Mexico was the one time. And I was terrified. They were like self-guided horses. And we got on. My husband at the time had, I think, Jughead and I had Festus, or maybe it was the other way around. And the one thing they told us is don't let them stop to eat. And the first thing we had to do was go down this rocky hill. I was terrified. But once we got down the hill and onto the other path, I was okay. Yeah, maybe it is, Susan. We'll find out. Um, so I had about an hour before the live, and I did start to prepare some things. But I could change my mind about stuff on the next two. We'll see. In fact, I already did on one of them. Kind of changed my mind. So if it'll let go of my fingers, I got glue showing here. And I do have, and I found it, um, adhesive sheets, and I always forget to use them. <laughs> hey, Donna, you just got the notification? Wow. Yeah, YouTube is not real. Oh, you know what? I don't want to use that little dot there. Okay, so now we're just going to put the wishes on the inside. I don't know. Should I... Does that get lost? Should I put a piece of white in there too? Wow. You're lucky you're okay, Penny. I haven't been to horse races since high school. Uh, Might have even been junior high. My, my, my friend Mary's father took us a couple times. 
Um, I've been to car races since then. I'm just going to put it in. I'm not going to put it on white. Just going to go with it. I don't want it to get too layered up here. And I don't want it. Oh, I was going to put a piece of that ribbon in. All right. I'll put the wishes up a little bit higher. Oops, that's coming out too, too much. So how's everybody else doing? Hope you're having a good week. It's what is it? It's Tuesday. <laughs> oh, it's a busy week for me. Tomorrow afternoon's mom's taxes. Thursday, I have a doctor's appointment in the morning. And then Thursday afternoon, I have to meet the transport where they're taking to my mom for a follow-up appointment. And then go up and visit with her for a little while afterwards because it's in the opposite direction. All right, I think we'll just do maybe a tiny little strip of this across here. Bling it up just a little bit. And I think we'll use glue dots for that because it holds the ribbon down better. And these are from a paper pumpkin kit left over. I have another roll, but I don't want to start it till I, till I finish these. That's good. Tired is okay. I took a shower before this just to freshen up and wake me up <laughs> real good. So hopefully I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay <laughs> for now. If we get close to nine o'clock, I might start to get a little droopy, but we'll see. We'll see. I get a second wind sometimes and then I doze off and then I wake up when my son comes home from his second shift job around 11.30, and then I'm usually up to about 2, and then I go back to sleep to about 5.30 or 6. Sometimes lately, though, I've been sleeping in until 7.30 or so, but that doesn't always work, because sometimes I get phone calls at 6.30 in the morning. Not so much lately. That would be my mother I'm talking about. Not so much lately. She's not doing so good. You've been up since 4 a.m. You are a morning person, aren't you? I'm more of a morning person than a than a night person, too, anymore. Actually, I think I'm starting to turn into a middle-of-the-day person. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so now... Since this is already puffy, I'm not going to bump it up. I'm just going to glue it down, and then they can open that up like that. Let me um, let me score a little, or uh, what do you recall this? Do this a little better so it stays closed a little more. That's a little better. Yeah, I can't sleep in either. Once I'm up, I'm up. Oh, wow, Donna. That's not good. Has anybody watched that OA? Uh, I, I guess it was a movie or was it a series? OA Part 1 on Netflix. I, it's on Netflix now, but now there's Part 2 out. I started watching that and I was getting a little freaked out. <laughs> so my son said... Maybe he'll, he hasn't watched all part one. It's like, I don't know how many weeks or parts it is. Uh-oh, I lost my needle. I lost my pin for the glue. I just saw it. It's here. Probably buried it. Yep, here it is. Just don't want my glue to dry out. What'd Patty say? Oh, well, I'm, I've been that for like 20 years, Patty. <laughs> Not intentionally. I got th thrown into it, kind of. Okay, I'm going to put one bling above that eye in, in the birthday because I have one red dot and I threw the other one out. I was kind of thinking I'd use this yellow. Or I have little red ones, but I don't like the way they look. I'm going to use the little yellow one, the tiniest little one. Since there's yellow in the paper... Okay. How's that look? Can you guys see that all right? Or it looks real far away. Yeah, chasing the pin. 
Oh, gosh. Now, I don't know. I might have broken a YouTube rule. I might have given out too much information about myself there. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to be very careful about what we disclose. Oh, well. I'm going to do the same thing on the wishes. There. So we have birthday wishes. And we have to do the inside. And that's just going to be this mat. And I'm going to glue these bits on before I put it in. The paper's called Classic Garage. Uh, let me see. Six by six. And you get um, how many? 48 sheets of six by six paper. It's in the occasions catalog, which is still valid. And let me find the page because I can show you the stamp set and stuff that way because I don't have those. Okay. So if you have folks that are into racing or, or cars and motorcycles and stuff, here it is. Here's the paper. It's number 148482. And here's the stamp set they have. It's geared towards dad's and father's day. And I would have to give it to my brother if I use that because I don't have a dad anymore. And he's the only one around that is, well, my, my uh, son-in-law, I could, but he's not really into cars. So, and then there's um, framelits down, down here that have a car. And I really almost thought about getting the, just the framelits because they have gears and stuff in them like a cluster of gears and then some little ones too. Um, and then they have one that goes with this and with this stamp and with this one and an oil can or gas can, I guess it is, and the toolbox and the car. So they, you know, I thought about getting those, but then I thought, well, the car wouldn't look very good without the stamp and I didn't want to I already had gotten too much stuff, but they also have these little metal elements that are little keys and wrenches and stuff. And then there's card stock you can get to match. And then the ribbon I showed that I have. So that's on page 43 of the occasions catalog. And I'll give you some other samples here. What, what they came up with. So they're pretty cool. I like those gears. I really like the gears and I like that car. <laughs> That's they and that one there's not a um, thing for they just fussy cut it out of the paper so I guess there must be a paper with that on so anyway that's that one and I am just gonna glue this down yes it is for masculine cards and to get right the gears you could use for steampunk how many keys um, let's see well, it's keys and wrenches. It says 16 pieces, eight each of two designs. And that's number 148485. They're little metal elements, classic garage metal elements, it's called. I, I should have got those because I really kind of like those. <laughs> and I still might, but I have to watch my spending now. <laughs> I actually already overspent my, for my share for this year, uh, this quarter. So I have to be real careful because I'm waiting for the new, uh, for the pre-order for the annual catalog. I'll be able to pre-order in May. And the catalogs, for anybody that places an order with me between now and the end of April, um, preferably $25 or more, but <laughs> I'll, I'll be uh, putting your name on a, on the uh, Stampin' Up, they call it a catalog mailing list and um so that you will get a catalog from me but directly from stampin up because it's cheaper that way than to have them send them to me and me mail them then well in typical deb fashion i got that a little crooked but yay skate oh yeah i used to go roller skating every friday night when i was a teenager well for about a year or two till i started working all the time <laughs> Uh, anyway, skate wrench. I forgot about those. <laughs> I used to roller skate, not roller blade, not single blades or whatever they're called. Oh, Donna, I know. It's all right. 
It's all right. But just remember the occasion ends May, well, like June 2nd, but stuff is starting to run out. So if there's anything you want in there, um, hopefully it'll still be there when, when you're able to. So there's our first card. Just birthday wishes. And you can write a sentiment on the white piece in here. And that's on crushed curry cardstock and basic gray matte. And then the keys is the classic garage paper. So that's our first one. And then, what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? I was playing. <laughs> okay, so I pulled out this paper next. And black cardstock. And real red for a mat. And I thought, well, actually, I had blue for a mat first. Hang on. Let me pull that out because I want to I want to explain what I was doing and then I'll show you what we're going to do. So I had this. Well, that might not be the right piece, but anyway, and this because I have a friend who has a motorcycle, you know, Charlie. I mentioned him before. What? Well, I missed something. Penny. Patty, where are, did you get credit for our orders? I Yes, I get credit for your orders, even if you don't use the host code. However, if you, all the, the links are below the videos. And when this one goes up, I will modify it because it still has the March host code. I'll modify it to this April host code. If you use this host code, uh, if your orders under $150, which I assume most people are, not everybody, but, but most people use this host code because what happens then is it accumulates as people order and over 150, uh, when that host code gets over 150, I can get um, what they call stamping rewards as though I'm a host. And then I take those and I get little freebies for you guys like you know, like embellishments or um, one of these or stamping, um, what do they call those, embossing buddy powdery thing, you know, little things um, that I can get. And sometimes a stamp set, it depends on your order. Hi, Clay. Welcome. So this is the April host code. I get credit even if you don't use that, but it helps my customers get freebies if you guys, when you place an order, do this. Um, Patty, I can send you the occasions catalog. I don't want to spend the money right now to send out that big annual catalog because they're pretty pricey to, to send and it's going to end in, um, well, they're both going to end in two months. The occasions one is lighter. It's this, um, this size. So I can, I have a couple extra of these I can send you. So, um, you know, we can, I can do that because that only cost me a couple bucks to send where the other one I have to send it like, you know, it costs like seven or eight dollars to send it. Um, but and then if you order soon or you can go online and just check everything too. actually, if you go online through my link and below a video, when you go on there and you hit shop or shop now and then it takes you right to the website and it says you're shopping with Deb Halk. On the left-hand margin of the screen, you can shop by color or by catalog, and you can click on occasions. They will not, I asked the post office that, and unless you're doing a mass mailing, Donna, they won't let you send it media mail. That's why I like to have Stampin' Up! send the catalog. The company will send the catalogs out in a one-time mass mailing when the catalogs are first coming out, but I have to designate who to send them to for my customers. That's why I said anybody this year, I'm doing anybody that places an order with me, preferably $25 or more because <laughs> it's $5 for me for every catalog of the annual catalogs. It's less than that for these, but I also have a couple of these left that I can send directly. You can also buy them right online and have them sent to you if you'd rather do that. But um, I do give them out to people that have placed orders with me as long as I have some. And then in um, 
this month in April, I have to develop my list. And on April 30th, I place my order for everybody to get their new annual catalogs and they will send it to you in the mass media mail sometime in May, but it takes three weeks for it to get to everybody from whenever they send it. And I don't know the exact send date. I just know we are cut off for getting the name list and addresses into them is April 30th. So I'll be working on that. That's why I said, if you want a catalog, the new annual catalog that's coming out effective June, be sure to get an order in this month. And then I'm going to wait till, you know, April 29th or 30th to finish my list and hit done. And, um, and then everybody in May should get a catalog. Okay. So that makes sense to everybody. I hope. So anyway, I will change the code below this live and all future April videos will have this in. Okay, Mars, that's fine. Let me, um, <laughs> let me make a note because <laughs> my brain is about shot today. Mars on catalog list. Okay. And then don't forget to guys, there are perks. I give out little, I give thank you cards to everybody. I um, haven't gotten them out for last month, this month yet, but they should go out by early next week. Um, Donna, some people don't, but I do. I count people on my paper pumpkin because you guys that have, are in the paper pumpkin kit regularly, um, you are covering, I, I need like six paper pumpkin customers, which is, I think what I'm at right now. Um, and what I get out of that covers my fee to have a direct link to Stampin' Up, my website fee, basically. So I definitely appreciate my paper pumpkin customers. So I put them on the mailing list. Yes, you will get an annual catalog. <laughs> so, yep. You'll get one, my dear. Okay, so where was I? <laughs> Talking about this card. Um, and I probably just moved it out of the way, didn't I? I didn't even get it out, did I? Oh, I showed you the motorcycle, didn't I? Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm getting distracted. Hang on. All right. Did you see me put it somewhere, guys? <laughs> I have the other one. I just don't see. It had blue. All right. Black and blue. Where'd you go, guy? Black and blue. I lost my motorcycles. <laughs> I probably put it in the occasion catalog or something. This is not going well. Not going well at all. So anyway, yes, Clay placed an order. Yeah, I'm his ribbon. Uh, what did you call me? Your ribbon what? Anyway, I've turned him into a ribbon hoarder apparently. So she placed another order for a lot of ribbon, some other stuff too, but some some ribbon, lots of ribbon. I lost my card, guys. I just had my pretty card I was going to do. Ugh. Breather, breather. Did I put it in with my papers? Ugh. Is this it? No. Well, I guess I can make another one. That's bizarre. It has to be here. Like, let me move this out of the way so I can do this. <laughs> the only thing I got out was my catalog, right? Calm down, Deb. Calm down. Here's the one we just did. I'll give you that to look at while I look for the one I just had with the motorcycles. I just had it. We were just talking about the motorcycles and stuff. Anyway, 
Remember, I had the blue cardstock. And here it is, I think. Here's part of it. Black and blue cardstock, but where's the other part? Here it is. I found it. It was right where it was supposed to be. <laughs> okay. So, Clay, I don't know if you saw the first card. Here it is. I got it, Penny. Thank you. Hi, Alicia. That's what I thought. It wasn't in the catalog. I'm a ribbon dealer. Yeah. So, there's the first card we did. Birthday wishes. Okay. So, I was playing... And my friend Charlie likes blue, but his motorcycle actually is red. So I tossed the blue aside and I pulled out a sheet of red. And I do like that better. And then I thought, well, that's kind of blah. Now what am I going to do? So then I got out this, which I have never used before. And that piece of red that I had. And look how cool this looks. Isn't that pretty? So this is just this big background stamp and I use Memento black ink and I just put the paper on top of it like that and pushed it down. But then when I did that, then I didn't want to cover that up with the motorcycles because you can't see the marbling. So I decided we're going to make two cards <laughs> with red. Yes, that's just the paper design. This is the classic garage paper. There's maps on the back of that one. Um, it's I just showed it in the catalog. Don't let me move that paper again. <laughs> uh, one more time. If I can find it again. It's towards the back. Why didn't I write the page down? I don't know. I don't know. There's also really this, if you like horses, there's a really cool horse stamp set in here. I don't have that one, but it's really pretty. I've seen a lot of pretty cards with it. Anyway. All right. Where did Classic Garage go? With the keys. Where are the keys? Oh, it was towards the back. I opened right to it the last time. Here it is. Okay, here it is. It goes stamp set, framelits, classic garage, six by six designer series paper. There's little wrenches and keys and this, this ribbon clay, black with silver. <laughs> yes, it is hard to find things. Yeah, you'd have to fussy cut the motorcycle because there's no, there's a, there's a framelit for the, um, or thinlet, excuse me, for the car, but there's, there's not a stamp for the motorcycle. It's just in the paper. So we'd have to cut that. I could, I hate fussy cutting though, I have to say. Um, so that one, I think we're going to put on plain red and then we're going to do something different with this marbling and just make a different card with it because I just love the way that looks. And I think we'll just do this and put some kind of sentiment on there. I don't know yet, but I want to play with this one. So I thought what I would do with this one is. Um, make sure I have the right stamp set. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. Um, the stamp set I'm going to use is... It's disappeared. Is, here it is. It's painted glass. And I'm just going to use this a reason to celebrate, I think. And then I think I'm going to punch it out with... I was going to use the story label punch, and then I remembered that was a celebration item. So either this one, that might be two sharp edge corners. I think maybe this one. And just have it like up here. So that looks like an eye. So I think I'll use that one and put um, and emboss it. Put it stamped on black paper and emboss it with, I think I should use silver or black embossing powder. 
Ribbon obsession. Yes, me too. Yeah, this is really pretty. All right. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I already have the stamp out. And let me get my Versamark. Marlene, I promise I won't be quite this disorganized tomorrow. <laughs> Although I don't know what I'm doing yet tomorrow. But we'll see. I need a scrap of black paper. And we shall heat emboss. Let's see a scrap of black. My scrap bin is getting pretty bad. As in, I don't have too much um, usable scrap. That one will work. So I'm going to stamp first. My mother, my mother, my brother had a custom. Can you tell my brother was the wild one? <laughs> He was fun now. He's fun. He's not so much anymore. He's got a lot of issues now. But anyway, um, he has, well, I think he still has a regular Harley, but then he um, had a custom built one for a while and it was so cool. I loved it, but um, he had to sell it just for financial reasons and really health reasons for him now. So anyway, Okay, silver, I think silver, uh, yeah, silver or clear embossing. I think silver, we'll go with silver. We don't want to use white because it's going to be black and red. So, we have copper and, ooh, dazzling diamonds. That's just glitter. Silver. White, clear, and black. Hmm. And gold. No, silver. I guess we'll use silver. Okay. I need one of these jobs. I have given him a lot of them. Oh, you burn out on, well, you can switch to cars or gears or something else. Horses, so I don't know. <laughs> now, guys, you didn't yell at me. What did I forget to do? I forgot to use my embossing buddy. Uh-oh. Well, we'll see how it turns out. If I don't like it, we'll... Try it again on a different scrap. <laughs> All right, I have to make some noise now. So forgive me for that. Yep. I'm gonna do it over. I'm gonna do it over. Okay. Let's find my embossing buddy. Got it. The reason we're doing it over is because apparently when I brush some stuff off, I um. But you know what I'm gonna do? I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but. I am going to I'm going to lay it on here first of all till I stamp. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. You know what I'm going to do? No, we don't. <laughs> Neither do I. I've done the car for years. Oops. Because we had hot rods. Drag races are fun to watch, too. I like to make cards, too. They're little pieces of art, sort of. I guess I will not heat this from the bottom this time, because the other stuff is on the back still. 
All right, silver, come back over here. I have to start using a bowl method because, and that's so it dumps right back into the same bowl you store it in. I like that better, I think. But for now, this is what I have. I don't know if that worked a whole lot better, but we'll try to see if it did. Sorry for the noise. About that. Yep. Reason to celebrate. A reason to celebrate. So now let's get my punch. And I hope that it works. And let me be on screen. Still not 100% happy with that, but we're going to use it. Let's see what else we might need. Hmm. Need something. What does it need, guys? What does it need? <laughs> I'm trying. You rubbish with embossing. I'm. I was getting better at it, but um, I don't know. You know, tonight I'm a little off. Last week I was a little off too, but this week it's because of taxes. Ugh. Anyway, maybe I can just leave it like that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm. Or what if I just put like that. I like that better. It just gives it a little more blingy to it. Yeah. Good idea, Paige. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right under it. Or should I go like this? Or let's see if I have another strip. I could just... Um... No, I don't think I like that. I don't want to cover up that swirl stuff in the back. So I think I'm going to go with it under and just leave it at that. And maybe just one little clear gem or something on it. <laughs> yes, what Paige said. This, this is the marble stamp. It's a stamp. It's really cool. I've had it in my in with my stamps since I don't know last year sometime and I had never used it so yeah I'm sorry I hadn't because I thought oh that would look cool I was thinking I'd pull it out and it would look sort of like oil you know on the ground kind of thing and then I thought we might try this yet too what if I emboss that I think we're going to try that I don't know if it'll turn out but we, we're going to try it we're going to emboss the marbling on another card. <laughs> the disadvantage for you guys is I'm still learning a lot of stuff. But maybe that's an advantage too. We'll learn together. Hmm? Come up with new ideas. And I'm just putting this over here. And I want to make sure I kind of get it straight going around. It might be up too high. I don't know. Well, it helps if you take the paper off, Deb. <laughs> you like ribbon going both ways, like a present being wrapped. Kind of, oops, kind of thing. All right, let's see. And then we'll put that on. I have a little bit that I'm I'm really still not happy with this. I might have to do another one. <laughs> it has a couple. Hmm, it has a couple flex, and I don't think I have any black um, stuff I could 
splat on it. Oh, well. I'll put this down on dimensionals, but um, I may I may pull it up or just do another one later. Okay, that is my chair creaking, if you hear that, not me. I do creak a little bit sometimes, but it's not me. Yeah, I do have... Um, I was thinking of my Dazzling Diamonds glitter stuff, but I don't... I don't know if I want to play with glitter, glitter, glitter proper tonight. <laughs> oh, like a corner square. That would be cool. That would be cool. But we're going easy. In fact, I should have done, put my card base down first, huh? I did it again. I did that before. These are dimensionals. I love dimensionals. That's pretty much going to be our card, except I had to do something on the inside. So we'll do something. I might be able to. Paige, good idea. I'll try it. Or my, um, maybe not my blends, but I have a Stampin' Write marker. Which is a die-based marker. That might work. I'll try it. Or, 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 ooh, 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 I have an idea. <laughs> Hang tight. I have an idea. It's always scary when that happens. I do have some black. Um, I had to be careful because some of these are black and some of these are purple. These are these are black. Let's put a little black dot there. A couple little black dots. <laughs> there. <laughs> And there'll be none the difference. Okay. That's good enough. I covered up some of them. <laughs> that way it's not too blingy. It's still masculine, you know. I don't know. Then on the inside, do I have a little strip of red I can just put maybe? Or... That's not long enough. Um, hang on. A little extra piece from the mo motorcycle, from the car paper, motorcycle paper. Doesn't really kind of go with it. I'm going to leave the blank, the back, the, the inside blank for the moment. Okay. Well, let's switch to this one. Um, I had to figure out what I want to do for sentiment on this one. And this one, I might do it on red but i don't want to cover up these two motorcycles so i could take this well not like that like this not really feel, feeling the ribbon on that one i think i'm going to do a red and black and white circular almost like the tire you know a circle with a sentiment on it what do you think get your motor running yes it might look cool but you haven't probably seen my fussy cutting <laughs> thank you penny let's see if we could do clay's idea and do ribbons that make like a corner thing Go like that. Actually, that's not too bad. I'm going to go with the circle thing. So let me pull out some circly things. Oh, there goes my heat gun. Oops. That's too big because it's going to cover up one of my motorcycle there. Oh. All right. That answers that unless I cut it. I could cut it and just have it in the corner. Hmm. But then it might not be big enough for a sentiment. All right. Change of plans. <laughs> You're on a roll, Penny. 
You rev me up. <laughs> On a roll. Yeah. So tires rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Except I think that was from an old Western movie or show. Like tumbleweeds or something. All right. I decided I think I'd rather do. Um, this is so hard when you don't want to cover up the paper. Uh, maybe I'll just do white with black ink. I wanted to have the, a little more red pop out from that too. But it's going to cover up one of those motorcycles if I do any kind of sentiment. Hmm. <laughs> Rawhide. That was it. Yes. <laughs> you guys have good memories. My mom does too, actually, or did up until recently. Good memories. I am so bad with names of anything. Yeah. Do you guys know about a television channel called Me TV? M E TV. My mother is obsessed with that, and it has a lot of old westerns on it. Like, um, that's true, but I just feel like I need something on the front. You know, there has to be something on it. Cows are tall, called doggies. Yeah. <laughs> Get along, little doggy. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Me TV has, she still watches it. Yeah. See, Barb? Um, it's got the gunman and gun smoke and, oh my gosh, what are the Gilligan's Island? <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what all the shows are, but every time I would go visit her, she'd have it on. Color that center cycle. No, I'm not good enough. At, <laughs> it's already sort of, it's already sort of colored with, it's like black and white. Mm, I mean, I could color just a little bit, but mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let me see something. I wish I had a sentiment that said, let's ride or something like that, you know, but I don't. I have a happy birthday, I thought of. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, I have these thoughtful banners. I could put like a banner going like that. Um, I don't know. I'm still thinking. See, I told you this was going to be crafting on the fly. You could put for you on your birthday and it's small. It wouldn't take up much room. And do a tiny skinny stitched rectangle maybe. I don't know. Let me try that. A stitched rectangle. <laughs> Alpha stamps and make it yourself. I could do that. I actually have alpha stamps. About a hog, yeah. Except Charlie, my friend Charlie has a, um, it's a Honda. It's not a hog. If I give it to my brother, that would be all right. Um, stitch rectangle, that's what I was looking for. There's one of the skinniest ones, maybe. Okay, so what was that movie? You know, kind of think, was it, um, oh, Born, Born to be Wild, something like that? Oh, my gosh, I should remember that one. That was my era. See, that'll even cover up. That's too wide. I wouldn't cover much of it up if I do something there. Hmm. 
Red embossed fenders and tank. You guys are better than me then. Easy Rider. Thank you. Gosh. See, this is quiz night. You guys are winning. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> red embossed fenders and tank. I don't have red embossing powder. Oh, cool. Learning stuff I didn't know. Hmm. Wish I had some little gears and stuff. I don't know if that would look right either. I'm not feeling any of it. Maybe we'll just do that. Let me see that sentiment that I had. I don't think it'll fit. I don't think it'll fit. Of course, if I give this card and it says just for you on your birthday, then somebody's going to think they're getting a motorcycle for the birthday. Maybe over here. See, it's not going to fit that way. It'll have to go this way. It would fit that way and it covers it up. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't like the ones... Yeah, I'll scoot over. <laughs> You're more than welcome to come help me, except there's nowhere to sit. <laughs> there is. There's another chair, and the chair is empty. The desk next to it is not, but, um, yeah. My house is such a disaster right now. I couldn't let anybody in. Well, you know what? I don't think I'm going to put anything on the front. <laughs> Maybe I'll round the corners, though, make it look more more like a tire okay corner rounder thing i'm having trouble with these because i'm more into butterflies and all that a big pig <laughs> yeah the choppers right charlie always says that's for people who are airing out their armpits I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. I just think it would be uncomfortable to ride like that. I just ride on the back, but I get a little nervous now that I'm older. Riding on the back. Plus, when I was young, okay, here's a little known fact about me. When I was young, my brother, before he got into the big vehicles had a um, mini bike you know mini bikes were big like mini motorcycles and um i pretty well i had to be like five or six maybe i don't know did he really did he i guess he liked it if he had one they were in they're still pretty i mean there's still people around here riding them not as many as there used to be anyway mini bike story he took me for a ride down the street and what did he do he did a wheelie and off i went onto the ground i was okay but you know <laughs> it's like oh i was a little upset i was pretty young like don't do that i don't know so little sister got dumped again all right i have to round the other edges too yeah, that was my brother. He was always doing stuff like that. He's five and a half years older than me. So I was like the pesty little sister, you know. Anyway, we're just different people, but we're okay. We talk. <laughs> we help each other out when we can, you know. And lately, I've been talking to him a lot more because of stuff going on with him and stuff going on with our mother, so... Did he really, Penny? Oh, my gosh. Were they trying to mar us for life? You know, <laughs> you've been dumped, too. Wow. What is it with these guys? Huh? Dumping us off the bikes. Maybe that's their way of saying bikes are supposed to be for guys and not girls. I have to put something on here. I just feel like I have to put something on here. Ah, maybe this one would be good with red word letters. Then I could just, oh, why didn't I think of that earlier? All right. Let me pull out my red written framelit and see what we have. 
happy you thanks birthday hooray we could put hooray <laughs> right that's exactly what i mean marlene they do it on purpose so we won't ride again we won't want to ride with them again right mm. well we don't want it to be sympathy welcome miss you we could put miss you i think hooray hooray <laughs> Let's see if we have a hooray. Mm. Hooray, you. What's that one say? Hooray, friend. Miss you, friend. But miss you. Nah. Hmm. Oh, come on, we need something to say, let's ride. There's no four. I could put for you. We need some more words stamping up. <laughs> Where's the hooray? Here's the hooray. Let's try hooray. See how it looks. Just to see how it'll see how it'll be. I have to unclutter my big kick, turning away for a second. Hi, Deborah. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, my dad was kind of a drinker, too. But he didn't do that. I didn't see my dad a whole lot when we were young because he was working. He was working for someone else and then coming home, having dinner and going out and trying to get his own business started. And then, um, when I was older, he had his business started, but then my mom and dad had bought some rental properties, and then he was always working on them, fixing them up, which ended up being a good thing, because he ended up being able to use that for retirement income. But then again, I didn't get to see him a whole lot, and then my parents got divorced, so anyway... Guess because they never saw each other. I don't know. <laughs> oh, sticking me. I don't think I'm liking the hooray unless I can put, like, gloss it up. Maybe. Maybe there with some of that silver ribbon under it or something. Oops, put that away. Your mom was, I'll bet she was furious. Well, they do seem to be coming out with word stamps. And I do have stamps, you know, the, the, um, the ones you can write yourself. But I just don't think I have that in me to do right now. Sorry. Okay. I think we're going to just put hooray. I don't know. I feel like I need something on here. A little stripe of that. A little stripe of this over it just playing and then maybe inside it could say it's your birthday or something like that hooray it's your birthday you win the motorcycle <laughs> Ooh, ouch cut several yeah i think i will do that um you know what? I have silver foil. Put red underneath silver foil on the hooray. Hmm. Hang on. I'll be back. Ooh. How about the galvanized metallic that I'm not supposed to use anymore? I still have a little bit of this galvanized metallic that I'm not, it's not available anymore. Maybe I'll put the red under it and put that on top or vice versa. We'll try it. Let me cut a few more. Good idea, Paige. You guys are so good. See, I come on and make the stuff, but you guys come on and tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, now I need more red. 
No, I don't. I need the silver first and maybe a black. But that's what makes our Tuesday nights together interactive, right? We help each other. Inspire each other. might put another one on yet there we go kind of liking that oh baby baby oh baby <laughs> and he's singing again yes well the idea I think, Clay, is that you're supposed to just get enough that you can use them all up. <laughs> but I did. Yeah, Penny, Penny likes baby, huh? <laughs> She's singing again. Like the dance, dirty dancing, right? I'm just going to layer two, I think, for now. I do have silver, uh, do I? I have white. I could do the splatty stuff with drops of um, frost white champagne mist. Not frost white, frost white, what is it called? Shimmer paint. I could do that. Put some splats on there. way too big I need a little little strip of red hang on I don't know why I'm into the red tonight here that doesn't cover up too much of the motorcycles Day, hooray. Hooray. Nope. I like it better down here. Over there. How about if I just flag those ends and stick it on like that? Oh, okay, Patty. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to flag the ends. I'm going with it. I made a decision. Might not be the best one, but it is what it is. It's only a card, right? You can always make another one. As long as you have more of the paper. Now, I hope I didn't make that too short. All right. We're going to splat some frost white on here just to give it some shimmer. And then we're going to put this down and then that's going to be the card. Okay. Let me find my frost white stuff. I haven't started my rearranging de-stashing yet, but let me tell you, it has to be soon because I'm getting to the point of overwhelm here. I am, I am. I don't need paint. I need 
frost white. Mm, yeah, for white would be better. Okay. So we're going to get out our Winker Stellar. Winker Stellar. Where are you? Hmm. Thought I had another one. All right. Don't know if this is the right one. I'm going for a ride. 9.30 a.m.? What? Oh, she must be on the West Coast, right? You're talking about our 12.30 Eastern time? I'm just going to take my Winkastella brush. Get rid of this for a moment. And hope this works without ruining it. Gently too. Not going to work. Oh, yeah, there I got a big blob. Don't like that. <laughs> Don't like that. Uh oh, uh oh. I want little spots. It's not coming out in little spots. There we go. <laughs> Just a little speckles of stuff. Okay. I think I got it. You can barely see it, but it's on there. Maybe a little more. Got one blob there, huh? There we go. Paint splatter. Newly painted motorcycle. It's got splatter everywhere. Hi, Nix. Hi, Rosa. Wow, we're getting a crowd. All right, let's ensemble. Ensemble. Okay, I'm sure I can come up with a lot of other ideas for this card, but just not this fast and alive. <laughs> Brush keeps wanting to come back here, doesn't it? That's kind of cool, too. But we're going to use the motorcycles. <laughs> Thank you, Rosa. It's called Classic Garage. It's stamping up paper. And it is for sale through my web link and the Stampin' Up website. I just smeared stuff all over that, didn't I? I must have it on my fingers. All right, I'm going to turn it over. And then I'm going to get a wet wipe out and wipe my fingers off before I touch it again. <laughs> well, I'm not 100% happy with it, but it's okay. We shall, we shall be fine with it. <laughs> we shall be fine. And I know most guys don't like a lot of bling, but I'm going to put a little bit of clear bling on it, too, I think. And then we'll pop that up on dimensionals. Is that on straight? Probably not. It's from me. Thank you, Mars. <laughs> Marlene, I should say. Okay. And then I think on the inside, which I'll do later, I'm just going to put another layer of red and then a white 
thing that anything can be written in. There's our card. Finally. Hooray. <laughs> bling up the headlights. I'll bling up a bling up a headlight. Mm, well, wait, I didn't put the bling on, did I? Hang on. Well, I could, I think that would detract from it. That's not, that's not the right bling. I think maybe I'll just use a silver pearl on here. Just a single silver pearl. I was going to use clear, but I don't know what I did with them, actually. Probably put them in the wrong place. Come on, pearls. I'm just going to put one, just one. Lonely little guy. Maybe I'll put another one on the inside or something. I don't know. Thank you, Rosa. I'll show you the first one, too, that we did. As soon as I find my pin that I'm chasing again, here it is. <laughs> Let me clear my desk off just a tad. And we'll do the next card. <sighs> too much stuff out. Here's the first one we did. These are kind of masculine cards tonight. And it flips up birthday wishes. And then that's the inside. There's our second one. And we have, oh, we have this one too. We forgot about this. This is the second one. This is our third one. <laughs> we did three cards already, guys. It's 818. I have one more I can do. I think. So I don't know if it takes as long as that one. Maybe not. All right. Just cleaning stuff off a little bit. Um, and this one is a little bit different color. I was going to use these nuts and bolts. They're not nuts and bolts. They're just the what? Bolts, I think. Right. One of the only things on earth you can do. What? Craft? make cards you do those 3d uh dimensional things you're good at those you're good at cards too all right um so i think we'll make this one a little more basic we're going to use this is tranquil tide paper which is one of the 2017-19 in colors it's going to go away and I'm going to cut that down. And I think I want to try something a little bit different. But. Um, hmm. Uh, 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 uh. I might do some like layering of shapes on this or something. Thinking about cutting these out as a circle and then having strips of different papers behind. These are the nuts. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. The bolts are the part that goes in. I should know that. Gosh, my father was a carpenter. My brother, you know, worked on cars. Yeah, I didn't. I worked in an office all my life. <laughs> uh, what did Penny do now? No, you're fine, Penny. I'm a silly person, so you're fine. You are fine. So we're going to cut the mat first. I'm going to do it. Well, I guess I should do a mat. Yeah, I'll try it. I have some sketches that are like how to use up six by six paper. But um, I don't know. I always tend to go for a big mat, but I, I don't know if I want to do that. I have more of this paper, so let me. I want it bigger. I want it bigger than that. So let me get out my layering circles. And we had a discussion before. That's right, you have to have fun. 
No, this is tea. I already had like two or three cups of coffee today, so I figured I better switch to some. I don't even think it's decaf, though, but it's peach tea again. <laughs> well, that would that would be true, but I could never send a card that said that to anybody <laughs> unless I really didn't like them too much <laughs> or they knew a sense of humor, you know had a sense of humor too. So if I cut a big circle with these and then what's on the other side of this? I could layer, ooh, I could take some of the green and layer it behind there. Hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do it. If it doesn't turn out, it doesn't turn out. Yeah. I had, um, I did. I had two cups in the morning, I think one in the afternoon. If you, if you do too many types at it, type ins at all at the same time without letting other people do, then it sometimes puts you in timeout. <laughs> I don't know how to fix that. The thing with coffee is I can't, I don't like cold coffee. So tea, I don't mind drinking when it gets cold, as long as it doesn't have any like milk or something in it. But um, coffee, I don't like, I, I'm not one of those that drinks iced coffee or anything. It has to be hot. So I don't tend to bring that up unless I put it in a travel mug or something. I don't tend to bring that up here. In my craft area because well if I come up in the mornings I do in a in a travel mug. Okay, so that's cut number one. Then I think we're gonna cut a strip off of here or two. Let's just cut an inch strip first. Just gonna play around with shapes on this one, I think. And how about we go like this? And then maybe have and flag that. And maybe have another like a little square or something here. Or we could go like that. Nope, that's not wide enough. I think we would go like this. And let me get a little square. Um, do I want solid? I can do that on this, I guess. What did Clay say? You're the screw to my bolt. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube, YouTube. And somebody sent me a message in my comments the other day and said, if you use too many S words and G words, they, they'll kick you off. I'm like, I don't know what words she was referring to because I don't swear on my channel. So I don't know. Yeah, you're the oil to my engine. <laughs> you're the wind beneath my wings. Just thinking, you know, different shapes, like, and then maybe a square for a sentiment here or something. Trying to be, think outside the box a little bit because I tend to do the same stuff over and over and I don't want you guys to get bored. Hey, nutcase. <laughs> yeah. That would make sense to a motorcycle person or a car person, really. I think I liked it with a flag. I need a square, maybe a white square. A white square. Let me just cut a little square and see. 
Sorry, I'm off frame. There's no room on my desk. That's two, 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 two. Um, what else do I have that I could use? I'll pop the green, the more green behind the square. Hmm. hmm. Some more of the these things. <laughs> now, Clay, watch it. <laughs> Don't want to be reported. <laughs> it's all in good fun and I'm fine with it I hope they don't kick me off but you know shorten that but uh, maybe I don't know what do you think about this guys You're like, I don't know, Dad, we're having too much fun with all this other stuff. <laughs> oh, here's a piece of plain gray. Maybe I could use that instead there. All right, now I have to figure out a sentiment. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking I could texture this gray one. Okay, texture. Okay, what kind of texture? Let's see. We have wood planks. How about corrugated? Maybe. Yes, oil and engines are pretty dirty. That is for sure. You know what? So is carpentry work. A different kind of dirty. Okay. I'm just playing with shapes. I'm going to emboss this one with the corrugated. Let's see which way do I want it. Up and down. Up sideways. It's going that way. So I want this to go this way. Okay. Okay. It will go. Maybe it won't go. All right. I have to take my, I have to take my other little plate off. Disaster. Here we go. Only once through for the corrugated. Okay. If I don't like that, I'll save it for some. That really corrugated it for sure. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I like the corrugated on there. Deep, 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 deep. Hmm. Oh, bye, Rosa. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Enjoy your dinner. Thank for thank you for coming. Crafting is well. Crafting can be if you play with inks and um, you know, I have something I do want to play with sometime with you guys, and that would be um, brush out which Stampin' Up! sells, and I have it, but I have never used it before, so we're just going to go with this card. I'm not sure I like the corrugated, but I'm going to go with it. I'll cut these strips down as we go. You like the corrugated? I like it. Ooh, well, I don't like it now. I just ripped it. Oops. Well, we have a new texture, guys. <laughs> we're ripping stuff. I must have put it through too hard. New look. Okay. I don't like that rip. Turn it over. Put it on this side. Put that big piece down there like that. I think I liked it better with the full corrugation. All right. We'll do another piece. We'll do it again. Okay. Take both of them out. Where did I put the thing? Corrugation. Okay. Try it again. Stuff is falling. Maybe if I do, I'm going to do it double the paper. 
and then maybe we won't get quite such a big corrugation. I don't know if we got any of that time, actually. Nope. Can't see chat at the moment. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. It is pretty cool, actually. It really does corrugate. I have to cut this in half because I did a whole card base like that. <laughs> and I'm just going to cut it. I shall use my trimmer, hopefully. It's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let me see. Four and eight. I don't know if my trimmer is going to cut it. I'm going to have to use my big trimmer. Big trimmer. Where'd you go? Hmm. All right. Scissors. Still a little rough around the edges. And too long. Note to self, cut your paper down before you do this. That will do. I don't mind if it's rough around the edges. I kind of like it. I might even ink it, actually. I might even ink it. Carl, Clay and Deb are ripping it today. <laughs> Shaggy chic. Yeah. <laughs> Shaggy chic. All right, let's see. I don't know. I forget how I had it. I think I had this going this way. We'll just cover up the tear, right? <laughs> Put it like that. No, I had that up higher. I like the better up higher. I have one going down like this, maybe. And then I'll ink the edges of this, and we'll have a sentiment on there, and flag these edges, maybe. Or should I put a gray one through there? Maybe I'll put the gray one through there. Or the gray on the green. There we go. Get back in there. It's like measure twice, cut once. Same thing as play around with it twice. Lay it down, glue it down once. <laughs> I think we're kind of going to go with something like that. I'm going to ink around the edges. What is a coral? I don't know. Pick up sticks. Yeah, I got left the little pieces, don't I? All right, I'm going with this, guys, except I have to find a sentiment somewhere. A sort of a small one for you on your birthday. That will fit this time. That will fit in here. Right there. But I have to ink those edges up. I don't like how white that is. Let me do that first. I'm just going to use gray. This is the basic gray Stampin' Right pen. We'll use the other side of since I got a squiggle on that.
Now, now, Clay, if I do things right, no one will ever know you make mistakes. That's true. That's not how I roll, apparently. <laughs> okay. You guys selling other stuff on here tonight again. You got to stop that. Okay, wait. Don't glue. Okay. All right. I'm going to stamp my sentiment first, and I think I'm going to use basic gray. Or should I use Tranquil Tide? Hmm. Basic gray or... Uh-oh. I can't reach. Tranquil Tide. I think... I'm going to use basic gray. <laughs> I was going to go for tranquil tie. Okay. <laughs> this stamp, by the way, is out of the blow out the candles photopolymer stamp set. I believe is in the annual catalog. It's right here for you on your birthday. I mix and match stamp sets and stuff all the time. And forgive my head being in shot probably. Not bad. <laughs> for me. Not bad. Okay. This is the last card. This is the last card. And then I have a mess to clean up. She was just quizzing you. Oh, I thought she was going to say, here, I'll send you a picture. Check it out. I have, my favorite trimmer is, well, I like my Stampin' Up! one. For smaller jobs but my favorite one is a Fiskars it's the precision it's self sharpening so if you have to cut a lot of cards or a lot of stuff that one is good it's I've, I've had it before on here I don't know where it is right now I moved it out of the other room but I think I took it back in the other room all right I'm going to start assembling and I think I'm actually going to use a different wet glue because I need a thicker layer of it on this corrugated. A caterpillar. I have a small guillotine. They're okay, but I don't know. I like I like my precision. Um, it's not. You don't ever have to replace the blades or anything. Oops. Um, so I don't know. Look up the Fiskars Precision, Brandy. It's really, it's a really good trimmer. I've had it since like 2017. It was the first one I bought. And I bought smaller ones because it's a little big. If I could find it here, I would show it to you. Oh, here it is. Hang on. I like the Stampin' Up! one too, but you have to replace the blades and the, um, you know, the things. So here's the Precision. And I am not affiliated in any way with Fiskars. <laughs> And it has this thingy here, and it slides back and forth. Your hand never comes in contact with. So you can either use it small or large. I love this thing. And it does have a lock on it, so it doesn't lift up. You know. But yeah, it just self-sharpens. And it cuts like a charm. So, I like that one. And you can get it. Sometimes they have coupons and stuff, you know, sales, wherever. I think they still sell it anyway. 
I'm going to go around the edges of this with the gray too, although I should trim it down first. Actually, I'm not going to trim it down. That goes over the edges of the gray, and I like it. Well, this one never wears out either because it's self-sharpened, so you don't have to replace the blades like you do on a lot of the, like the rotaries you have to replace sometimes, and the, um, whatever those other little things are, like Stampin' Ups and Fiskars ones, the smaller ones. I have both. I have Fiskars and Stampin' Ups in the other style. This style with these things, and these always have to be replaced. Like, it seems like once a month or two, and I have this one from Fiskars, and it's the same deal. This has to be replaced. So, yeah, I really like that one, Precision one. And if I have to do a lot of, like, card base cutting all at the same time and stuff, I use that because I don't like getting fuzzy edges on my cards, which I have a little bit of now, unless I intentionally want the fuzzy edges, then that's okay. Okay, let's see. This one had to be cut down now. I'm gonna flag those edges on that side. And I'm going to use my triple banner punch because I'm getting lazy. <laughs> oh, 119 isn't bad. I think I spent a little more than that when it first came out or when I first got it. Oh, that's the wrong punch. Oh, boy, Deb. That is the wrong punch. Everything's falling. Here's the triple banner punch. Okay. <laughs> I just, oh boy. And now let's see if we can get this in the center. And do a little flaggy. Stop flying everywhere. And then we're going to put that like that. And go across here somewhere. And then we're going to have this over here like this. All right, I have to cut this. Let me get a pencil and mark about where I want to cut that. About here and about here. And I'll use my little trimmer. Yeah, guys won't care, right? Most guys won't care. Unless they're crafty guys like, like Clay. And there are actually some Stampin' Up! male um, consultants and things. And there's guys, you know, there's Tim Holtz. There's um, Brutus Monroe. Is he a real person? I think so. And there's another guy I've seen on YouTube crafting. Um, like a big time guy kind of thing. I don't know if I got that on the right spot. We'll try it. We'll try it and see. Nope. I didn't think so. Okay. Take that one off. Okay, let's see. Let's glue that together. Bruno Mars, no. I don't know. It's Brutus Monroe, I think is the name. Uh, there's a Stampin' Up! guy named Rick Atkins. Atkins? He's on YouTube. He's pretty up there, too, as far as demonstrators go, um, from what I understand. And I don't think he's at the million mark. I don't remember seeing his picture in there. 
but in the UK, it's a lot of demonstrators of various things. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Where were we? Maybe I like this better under here to make that pop up a little bit too. Just have that little flag sticking out. Where's my square? <laughs> I'm just playing with where I want the stuff. About two years ago, I used to watch a UK, it was a, um, it was called Jewel, Jewelry, Jewelry Television, and it's, I used to watch it on their website, and it was very interactive, you could chat into their live, and they would chat back, kind of like talk to you, um, it might still be that way, I don't know, I had to stop watching it because I was going broke. <laughs> But, and their prices were really good. Picasso. I don't think it was spelled like that. P-I-C-A-S-S-O, maybe. There is a guy who has a website called The Gentleman Crafter. I didn't know that. Hmm. Picasso. Anyway. All right. I'm gluing this down. I, I just lingering too long on it. Anybody else live tonight? I'm not really good about checking. But I try not to go when too many people are. But I just have. That's why I designate my time. I might bump this up. And I actually. Should I round the corners on the square? No. I want it to be edgy. <laughs> Shopping and painting on your brain. Hmm. Painting would be good. Monday night, I've been trying to do the um, mixed media sticks with the art bar, but I didn't do it last night because I was up to my eyeballs in taxes, literally. So, yes, that's probably true, Brandy. Not probably in my case. <laughs> that's definitely true. All right, I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals this square and then I'm going to put some bling on it somewhere um, I feel like there's something missing up here but I'll figure something out I guess with it maybe I'll just go up a little higher yeah like that I think I'll do that and then I'll put some bling up there Picasso yeah Shopping. You guys saw my I had a Tuesday morning haul, right? Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do that. And I don't do it very often anymore. I had to get my glue eraser. Well, a piece of bling, a little bit of bling has to go right there. Okay, let me find my clear bling because I don't know what I do with it. I know I had it out earlier. Should be in my neutral drawer. I have pearls. Oh, there's my clear bling. It was upside down. Okay, I need my picky tool. Take your picky tool. Where'd it go? Uh oh. Oh, it's trying to escape. My take your pick tool is trying to run away. It was sliding down on the cart. Do you think that'll, do you think I should have bling on here? I think I should have bling on here. I'm doing, ah, if I can get it out. 
I think I should put one bling right where that little smear is. <laughs> and maybe a little smaller one up here somewhere. Maybe like one up here, bigger one up there. Or down here. Is that enough bling? The reverse corners. Anyway. Could put a bling right in the middle of one of these gears. <laughs> Not gears, whatever they are. <laughs> Nuts. All right. I have to do the inside, but I'll do that off camera. And it's just going to be probably white on. Oh, now here's a little tip. Let me get a piece of white, actually. I could use some of this, too. No. Um, let me find a piece of white paper. Don't throw these kind of pieces out because you can just cut a piece a little bit um, so that you have a little bit of this as an edging and nobody will know you have a cutout in the middle. So we're going to try that and put that in the middle on the inside. So it'll be kind of like that and then we'll just have white over it. But let me measure... Thank you, Marlene. Took me a while to get there. <laughs> this is a new ruler for me. I'm not sure I really like it yet. This is approximately four by four and a quarter. So the four and a quarter. So I need four by 3.75. Uh, 3.75 let's see how we did and go like that and then you don't waste your your bits and the other thing you can do if you pre-plan which I try to do sometimes but I'm not always successful is you can actually you know cut your shape out of the front of a card base and then you have a window like the tickets oh yeah I know what you mean play like my granddaughter did on her card did I, I, I don't have that to show you when um last Sunday well we did one last week like that where I took the corner rounder or corner punch yeah what are we doing tomorrow Mars <laughs> anything goes tomorrow Penny at 1230 you mean Eastern I don't know what I'm doing yet. So let me, I'm going to glue this down in here actually. So those that missed it, we're having a, we're having a live. It's going to be on Kathy's channel, Kathy's cards. And it's going to be Kathy and me and Patty and, um, Andrea, hopefully, and Mars, hopefully. <laughs> is, did I, and maybe, is Tina coming tomorrow? I don't know. I'm not sure. So I'm excited because I haven't, this is going to be my first Google Hangouts kind of thing. Thank you, Nix. I think it'll be fun. Anything in particular you guys would like to see me do? I don't know what the other ones are doing. Well, Mars just said she's working on her jeans pocket. Um, I have to be careful because I have projects in mind, but some of them are for other collabs, so I can't, I can't actually do them uh, on this thing. Okay, there's our card. I really kind of like that. Not my fave colors together, but I like the corrugated and the different layers and stuff. Took me a while to get there, but... Oh, good. Oh, okay. I'm glad Andrea's doing better, because yesterday I wasn't too sure. 
make a card. <laughs> I can make cards, but I don't know. People get tired of me making cards, maybe. I could make cards. I have um I have another pack of paper. Let me show you that I want to use some of. This is actually out of the annual catalog, but um, this is called Share What You Love. I need to use up some more of this paper, too. I used this on some cards already, but I have that. And that. And this one with words all over it. It has words of flowers on it, I think. And this one, and this one, and then purple on the dots, and oh, the dots is the reverse of this. So anyway, I have that. But I know she doesn't like green. Well, I like this green, Tranquil Tide, better than some because it's sort of a blue green. But I feel like I've been doing a lot of green lately, and this has a lot of green in it, so I wasn't sure I wanted to do that again tomorrow. I want to do something blue or red or, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll figure something out. I might save this for next week, guys. So you might be getting Share What You Love next week. Plus, I have a little embellishment kit to do. And I actually never did any alternates for the paper pumpkin this, this month. And I should do that. So I could I could maybe do that. You're into wordy paper. It is pretty paper, Brandy. It's just that it has a lot of... Brandy likes green. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I like green, too. I just am getting tired of doing green. Um, that's why I went with red and stuff tonight and yellow and gray, which I don't usually use that often either. So there's our cards tonight, guys. Which one do you like best? The hogs? Oh, no, I'm sorry. The motorcycles. <laughs> you like green jewelry, though? I like, I like green gemstones. <laughs> hmm. You like the keys, the red marble one. I think I actually like that the best, too. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, there you have it. So, this, I think, is going to be the end of my live. Don't forget about the links down below the video. Once it posts up, I'll change the host code in there for April. The red marble. Yeah, I love that marble. I'm going to have to do more of that. I do want to try. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll, tr I'll play with. Um, I want to try using Versamark and heat embossing that whole thing. I think that would be cool. It might not turn out, but I'll try it. Thank you. You like both red ones, Nix? Okay, Mars. Thank you. Um. And with that, I guess I'll let you all go for the evening so I can clean up this mess. Well, that's kind of up to you, Penny. <laughs> you don't have to. You could stay up and craft. But I'm actually not real tired right now. But I, I know I will be soon. So get some rest. I have to start playing around and plan for tomorrow. And thank you all for coming. Um, I really do appreciate the chat. It's fun. And sorry I was a little all over the place tonight, but it was fun. <laughs> all right, everyone. Take care. See you next time. Come and uh, come see us tomorrow at 1230 Eastern at Kathy's, Kathy's Cards channel. Okay. That's Kathy Randall at Kathy's Cards. So be sure to come over at 1230-ish. Um, should be around that time. Okay. Talk to you soon.